following contest is a no disqualifications match. And it's for the Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Championship. That music can mean only one thing. Well, here we go. Apparently, this is for our championship and not the Miz. Is it's not like a double title match. Okay, whatever that means. By the way, welcome back to the channel. My name is Puma. If you missed the last episode, go check it out. We've been embroiled in this thing with The Miz and Elias for quite some time. The Miz not wanting to uh, give us a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. So Puma went out and created his own Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Championship. Defended it against Elias. This, ma this belt can only be defended in no disqualification matches. And The Miz had enough. So he said, my title versus yours at Hell in a Cell. Kurt Angle said, that's fine. You'll get your match. But it's going to be under no DQ rules. So that is where we are here as we are caught up. Miz making his way to the ring. Let's see. Okay, so it's not for both championships, apparently. Miz doesn't have his title. D okay, jeez. Apparently it is. The champion versus champion, the where the main title being our Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Championship is on the line. The the All right. So while this is an Intercontinental Championship match, it is mainly Introducing the, champion the Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Asia, Championship match. Mm-hmm. There you go. Puerta. Puerta. Drink it in, baby. Drink it in. That belt looks toit. We created that belt in the last episode, as I said. Go check it out if you so missed it. Move a muscle. Okay. So apparently it's not... I mean, it says dual championship match, but come on, man. Come on, son. Where's that IC title? Here we go. No DQ match. Here we go. Oh, Puma dives under immediately. Starts kicking the legs. And look at that. Oh, man. I I'm disappointed this wasn't in a Hell in a Cell. I mean, there's two titles on the line, for crying out loud. Wouldn't that make sense? But the Miz has had enough. It's like Owen Hart over here. Enough is enough. And it's time for a change. Well, Puma couldn't agree more. Puma couldn't agree more that it's time for a change. And he, man, you're barely moving there, Puma. Oh, jeez. Oh, right into a Boston Crab. What? Puma says, get the hell off me. Oh, no DQ. Not Extreme Rules. Gotcha. And Puma, oh, jeez. Puma went... For that, that baseball kick. bat shot. What are you doing? Certainly the bat's right next to you. Point, you have to think and another drop kick match, just to get the Miz champion. off his back Especially a little bit. Oh, like my goodness. Shot after shot with this baseball bat. Puma's going to get back in the ring here. But quickly, vault the over the top rope. Oh, Miz dodges it, but catches a baseball bat shot right to the dome. Oh, how is this not? How is no DQ not false count anywhere for Pete's sake? Puma now, he's got the Miz up, butterfly, pile driver. Good lord, he might have killed him out there on the outside. Oh man, that's put so many competitors. That's not what I wanted. Puma, though, diving up, getting up top. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my dive. gosh. Jeez, Louise. Puma is insane. And he is going to just tear it. Oh, throwing things on the Miz. He's going after the announce table here. Holy cow. And he is pointing at the Miz and saying, come on, bro. Uh-oh. Oh, Miz kicks Puma in the gut. Puma, oh. Shot to the midsection. He's going to get back in the ring. 
as to not get counted out, but quickly back outside. Shot for him, shot another. And Puma's gonna grab him to Miz, who's gonna shove him away. Puma grabs Miz now, and again, you gotta be, you gotta be smarter than that, bro. Up, and a drop kick to the back of the head. Puma, though, not wanting to do this here in the ring. Oh, again, he's gonna send the Miz outside. Oh, boy. Time for a sunset flip. Power bomb. Good Lord. Puma is just taking it to the Miz right now. He's, Puma's just going to stand out here. Puma's going to stand out here. Try to get the Miz to, to uh, come on out. He's doing it. What arrogance on display by the Miz. No, he's not doing it. So Puma's going to stand up and punch the Miz clean right across the jaw into a Hurricane Rana. That's it. Oh, now you want to slide outside the ring, you dunderhead. Come on. Come on over here. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he is doing it. Puma, though, grabs him. He's got the Miz. Oh, my goodness. On... On the table, look at this. Puma has taken it to the Miz. He wants him to know he is number one Intercontinental Champion. Butterfly pile driver through the announce table. Dear God. Dear God. And Puma's back in the ring, and he is fired up. Except the match cannot be won outside or I really thought via disqual or a count out. Right I mean, it could be won that way, the champ to the top but the title will not change hands. And right now, Puma's got to get the Miz back in the ring here. This arena, I think this crowd knows He's going to drag him over. History here Send him, match. oh, into those steel steps. Trying to get the Miz back in the ring is... Man, what is the deal here? Get in the ring. Jeez. <laughs> Puma finally able to get Miz back in the ring. And he's tuning it up. He is ready to kick the freaking dome off the Miz. And the Miz dives out of the way. Puma goes in. Nice Hurricane Rana there. And it's the... Uh-oh. What in the world? And Puma kicks out. Holy cow. He's not having any of that nonsense. Puma dives on the Miz. He's going to try it again. Surely a second time will do it. And bang! It sure does. Puma now holds on to the legs. He's going for the pin. And a two count. Wow. Just a two count. Puma, though, going to the second rope. Missing the senton. Oh, geez. Stomping the arm. Does the Miz. What's he doing here? Oh, and a boot right across the face of the Puma. Look at this. He's getting ready for that skull-crushing finale. Puma, the Puma not having any of that. Looked like he was actually getting ready for the uh, figure four. Kick, no, reversal. And another reversal here from the mid, or from Puma. Look at this, up, and a nice bulldog. Oh, Puma's geared up, folks. And just stomping away is Puma. And he's, he's just stalking. Oh, my gosh. Reversal from the Miz. Oh, boy. This cannot be good for Puma. Drop kick to the face. Holy cow. Miz going down for the pin. And a two count now. Holy cow. Miz again looking for that skull crushing finale. Is he going to be able to hit it this time? No! Puma reverses. 
And, oh gosh, it looked like Puma was trying to hook him up for the Puma's bite. But it didn't, like, didn't look like the Miz going to let that happen. Puma, though, able to get out of this hold by the Miz. And a shot to the midsection, and he dives on him again. He's focusing on the Puma now. is fired up, folks, and ready. Again, Puma going to the middle he rope, and this time lands that senton. Uh-oh. Nice Japanese-style arm drag there from the Miz. He's going to pick Puma right back this up. Is a grueling championship match. No Puma up on the shoulders, and he's hung out to dry. Oh, man. Almost got a little, little too hung up. Boot to the face the of Puma now. And now the Miz just completely working over Puma. He's not, going not this time, he says. Kick to the face. Oh, boy. Two in a row. Are we going to see two in a row? Third time's the charm. Bow, it sure is. And he goes down for the pin. What? Ref, what are you doing? One. Two, no, no, the Miz is able to kick out, but Puma, center of the ring, he thinks he's going to have a chance here at the Miz, who reverses, oh man, into a Boston Crab, uh oh, Puma, can he get out of this, it sure looks like it, and he finally does. Holy cow. Puma's fired up. He wants the Miz back up to his feet here. Shots to the, oh, jeez. Puma kicks it away. Puma Gree. It's the Puma Gree. Wow, face first goes the Miz. Puma covers. One, two, three. What? What? Oh my gosh. Okay, Puma's fired up now, folks. He is sick of the Miz. And it is time to put him down. Sending, uh-oh. Oh, man. Shot to the midsection by the Miz. Oh, no. The Miz is using the Puma Gree. Oh, my God. The Miz just used Puma's own move against him. But Puma still kicks out, dear Lord. Dear Lord, Puma's kicked out. This is insanity. Reversal. Holy cow. And Puma's going to send the Miz to the outside. Woo! He is charged up now. Puma's picking the Miz up. Sends him into the ring. Holy Toledo. How crazy is this? And a kick to the midsection. And a curb stomp, and the Miz has been busted open. The Miz is busted open. Puma's gearing up to put this thing away. Oh, and a reversal. Oh, no. Reversal. The Miz is hooked up. Puma. DDT and now the mid or excuse me the Puma has been busted open. There is blood everywhere. Miz goes down for the pin and the Puma kicks out before the one count. He is not giving up that easily. He's lining him up. Miz gearing up for skull crushing finale possibly. Watch it, Miz. Oh, face first goes Puma and that might be it for him. Puma might be done. No, no, Puma's not done. And the Miz has had enough. What does he have to do to put down Puma? Quickly going for the pin again. Oh, geez, so close. So close this time. The Miz has no idea what to do with Puma, but I think Puma has an idea of what to do with the Miz. Oh man, a reversal by the Miz. Puma now with the reversal. He is, oh geez. Oh geez. 
Oh man, what is Puma gearing up for from the top or from the second rope? Good Lord. Good Lord. Puma is headed up top. He is ready for that Intercont Intercontinental Championship. He is telling The Miz, you are done for. Oh no, The Miz gets the knees up. Good Lord. Oh no, the, a DDT again. Oh, face first goes Puma. That's what busted him open before. The Miz is very confident right now. And Puma's not having it at all. Puma not having it at all. And oh boy, we're going to see it again. This time it might be it for Puma. The Miz is looking at this. Oh, face first, center of the ring this time. Can Puma kick out? Oh, my dear Lord. What? This man is a robot. This man is a robot. Miz quickly goes down for the pin again, but the Puma's not having it a second time. You are not going to get Puma that easily, he says. Look at this. Oh, into a neck breaker. Nice move there. And the mid just stomping on Puma. Oh, jeez. Oh, shots to the arm now. Oh, kick to the face. And again, knee into a neck breaker. Good Lord. Puma hops up to his feet, though. Oh, my goodness. This match is insanity. This is a, one of the best matches we've seen. And Puma now with the steel chair. Dear God, he just blasts the Miz with the steel chair. And a, no, Miz gets out of the way, tosses the chair aside. Puma gets out of that pretty quickly. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, geez. Puma gets back in the ring. He's not going to like this. And now he's calling Miz up to his feet here. The Miz might be a little too close. No, but the Miz, well, he reverses it. He gets out of the way. Oh, my gosh. Miz, is that very smart? It proves to not be. As Puma hits him with a hot shot here. Oh. Miz back up. Puma, though, look at this. Hooking him up. Puma's bite. This might be it for the Intercontinental Champion. Can Puma get the victory? And he does at Hell in a Cell. Puma not only retains the Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Championship, but he also gains the Intercontinental Championship. Look at that butterfly pile driver to the steel or excuse me to the announce table this match was insane look at this get off me no skull crushing finale for you wow and just reversal after all the highlights are reversals apparently wow the first ever superstar to simultaneously hold the intercontinental title and for lack of a better term Title. Yeah, his carry on bag just got a little Miz is pissed heavy. off. Miz, Look at this. What a picture. What a picture. Puma's a double champion. You did it. You finally shut up the Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. Thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. If you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. Hey, Sasha, you mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Yeah, no problem. Hmm, okay. I was thinking about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. Jesus. Yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory. But according to WWE regulations, you're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both, but Triple H would just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. 
So which title would you like to keep? Um, I have to choose. Do I really get the? Okay, well we're gonna choose the Intercontinental Championship, of course. That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks. What? What a nice guy, Kurt. All right. Well, that is gonna do it for this chapter. Let's see what's next for old Puma. Back in the van. Awesome. Oh, we've got two messages. Let's see. Buzz, your Intercontinental Champion. Uh, do you know how cool that is? I mean, Brett freaking Hart was Intercontinental Champion. The Ultimate Warrior, Shawn Michaels. Now you. And none of them held the title I designed for you at the same time. Well, I mean, to be fair, it didn't exist then, but, but still, you get my point. What you've accomplished, it... Uh, oh, man. I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited for you. It's unbelievable. I mean, I wrestled you in bingo halls in front of 20 people for 15 bucks and a hot dog. And now we're here. I'm sorry. I'm just cutting onions right now. And Listen, I, I'm sure you're out celebrating, but I'm between Japanese tours right now, so hit me back up when you get a chance, okay? I, I just, I miss you, man. All right. Bye. Oh, Cole Quinn, you always will be my friend. Okay, Baron Blade. Hey, Intercontinental Champion. That was quite a win you had over The Miz. Yeah, I know, we still haven't talked, but I wanted you to know I've continued to watch you every week. And I'm not going to stop. No matter what happened between us, you'll always be my protege. Oh, uh, I don't know if you heard, but I had to close the doors on BCW. Uh -oh. Attendance took a big hit without you and Cole, and I guess some people didn't want to work with me anymore. Mm. Apparently, controversy doesn't always create cash. And I'm not telling you this for sympathy or anything like that, just thought you might want to know. Anyway, congrats again. Hopefully we can talk soon. I don't know about that, Baron Blade. I don't know about that. Okay, so here we are the next night. We just finished uh, beating up the Miz at Hell in a Cell and getting that Intercontinental Championship. What is going to happen here? Okay, hey, here champ. Just wanted to let you know we're wrestling tonight. And it's for the title. Uh, yeah, Kurt actually texted me about it this Text morning. me about it this morning because, you know. My dad texted you? Oh, my dad. He never responds what to my heck? text. Because he says he's not really a texter. Huh. That's odd. Anyway, want a picture together? What? Uh, sure, I guess. What? Is this something you normally do with your opponents? Not really. I just thought it would be a nice memento for you to have after you lose your title tonight. Oh. That's a keeper. I'll text you the pic. Uh, thanks. Actually, no, on second thought, I'm not really a texter. What just happened? My dad texted you? Stupid. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for one the fall. Intercontinental Championship. Jason Jordan making his way down to the ring. Apparently feels worthy enough to take on Puma for the Intercontinental Championship. I don't quite know if that's true. There's the man. All right. It's electric. It's electric in here, folks. Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois. Jason Jordan. He's about to get steamrolled by the Puma Jason train. Jordan. Yeah, yeah. No one cares about you, JJ. Introducing it's the It's all about this man. From Pangea. In it's all about Puma looking around, looking at the fans. I don't know what these people in the bottom the right are doing. They're not even facing the damn champion. ring. Orange shirt and green shirt and red shirt. Come on, guys. Bring it in. Take a good look at the champ, folks. 
Take a good look. All right. Here we go. Matchup against Jason Jordan. Apparently is good enough. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. That gum. Oof. Shot to the lower. Oh, okay. Man. All right, Jason Jordan's kind of putting it, putting the screws to us here a little bit. Um, not a big fan of that. What are we doing, Jason? That's all right. I need a nap anyway. Okay, he's gonna pick up Puma. No, boy, if you don't get off me, get your ass out of here. Big Instaguri knocking down Jason Jordan. We may not be able to do moves to him um, until we're until we can. Uh, get him beat down a little bit. Boom! Shot right there. Uh-oh. From the... Oh, man. We just stumbled all over him. Puma now at the arm of Jordan. Drops the leg. Arms aren't supposed to bend that way. But it does anyway. Because we do what we want around here. Ooh. There we go. Big kick to the midsection. Oh, and Puma doesn't stop after that. Says, bring it on. Ooh, shot right to the side of the head. Coming in hot. Leg drop, but Jason Jordan moves out of the way. Puma. Okay, Puma gets picked up by Jordan. Slams him head first into the corner now. Puma kicks out of that. And look at this. Spin him around. Hurricane Rana. Oh, Puma's going for the pin quickly. No. Just a, uh, not even a one count there. Oh, legs get taken out from under Puma. Puma now getting whipped around. Drop toe hold right into the bottom turnbuckle. Oh, and a kick to the face. But Jason Jordan not able. Jumping DDT, there we go. Puma into the corner now. He is headed up top. And frog splash, but no. Jordan with the knees. Oh, man. Too fast and a belly to belly from Jason Jordan. Puma is getting drug up to his feet now. Bow. Big shot there. And kick, low kicks. Putting Jason Jordan down onto the mat. Puma's cranked up, y'all. Puma is cranked up, and oh, a flipping senton. Nice move. He's going to head up to the second rope. Get Jason Jordan up to his feet. From the second rope. Joe, he went for that uh, blockbuster, and Jason Jordan stepped out of the way. Uh-oh. Jordan now. Looked like he was maybe pulling Puma over for something, and he kicks Puma right in the gut. Stops with that kick right there. Uh-oh. Drugs him, drags him around, kicks to the chest. And now Puma just wailing away on Jason Jordan here. Kicks to the midsection. You know what time it is. Face first into the mat goes Jason Jordan. Oh, boy. Puma is cranked up, y'all. Oh, boy. Are we about to see it? He's got jo Jordan up to his feet, setting him up. Puma agree. Rolls Jordan over. That's got to be it, right? One, two, and just like that. You can't stop the Puma train. It is full steam ahead, baby. Look at this. Huh. And we missed the uh, diving blockbuster right there. And here we go. Bouncing. Oh, okay. Puma agree, which ends the one, two, three right there. Puma's still Intercontinental Champion. Do you think Jason Jordan still wants to take a selfie with Buzz? I've got the commentary turned off again. All right. Oh. Um. Do you hear the buzz? It's the sound of the cicada emerging after years of slumber from their underground existence. Okay. Just as you have emerged from the underground and made your presence known. Unfortunately for the cicada when it tunnels its way to the earth's surface it only has mere weeks to live before it is eaten by a predator okay, well, like that. 
I am that predator. For I am the eater of worlds. You should have stayed underground, my friend. Because now I am coming for you. Oh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> listen to the buzzing. Get out of the ring, dude. Oh, boy. Bug busters. Okay. You might want to watch out. Oh, the hey, door not to get weird or anything, but I've been meaning to ask you since you got to Raw. What's up with you driving this retro van everywhere? Uh, it's just what I'm used to, I guess. I kind of lived in it when I was on the indie scene. Kind of? Okay, I, I definitely lived in it when time was tight. Bailey, and dang. Then when I signed with WWE, I decided to uh, fix it up. Keep it running. Interesting. And the bug logo? Oh, this used to be my dad's work van for his exterminator business. Yep, yep, that's uh... Pretty much the last thing he gave me. I guess his way of supporting my crazy wrestling dreams. Well, she's looking at Buzz all. That's cool. Starry-eyed and... Other than the fact that it still kind of smells like pesticide. Well, I think your dad would be really proud of what you've accomplished so far. Yeah. What about you, Bailey? You want to go? Yeah, want to go out? Want to go get some food? No. Okay. So here we go. We are headed to the ring to face the one, the only. Oh, and 160 some odd, whatever his stupid record is. Kurt Hawkins. And his opponent from Queen. It's about to get worse for old buddy. Let's do it. Here we go. Kurt, we are going to uh, demolish you real quick. Jumping, starting things off with a nice arm drag. Oh my God, bouncing all over the ropes. Get up. We are uh, taking no prisoners in this matchup. Face first goes Puma. Uh, I'm sorry, goes Hawkins. I guess I should call the right name here. Jumping DDT. Oh, all right. Going up top goes Puma. Kurt Hawkins. Oh, man. Lays down just in time to get frog splashed. Up goes... Man, Puma has yet to land that leg drop, uh, that springboard leg drop there. Puma gets out of that. Get off me, he says. Look at this. Hooking him up. Double arm DDT from Puma. My goodness. He's asking Hawkins, are you ready, son? It's time to get whipped. Yeah. Puma now. He's got Hawkins back up. Hurricane Rana. I don't know if Puma, he's going to, looks like he's trying it again here. Up and, oh, and a leg drop. Got him. He got him. And he's going to try something it looks like that he didn't quite land in the last match. That blockbuster. Oh, and he gets it. Big time move to Kurt Hawkins. And my, my, my. Kurt is taking a beating. And an impaler DDT. Kurt's been busted open. Puma's not stopping, though. Good Lord, man. Give this guy a break. Flipping pile driver. Holy cow. Up. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. From the top rope. Oh, man. Kurt is in the line of fire here. Big. Oh, no. Kurt dodged it. He's going to send Puma into the ropes and catches a back elbow. My goodness. Get off me, says Puma. Uh-oh, Kurt does the same. Oh! Kurt went low, and Puma blasted him with that knee. Oh, man. And now Puma just wailing away on Kurt because he knows he can get away with it. He knows he can get away with it. Puma picks him up. Oh! What a move that is. Nice job there from Puma. And now he's gearing up again. Second time the charm. We're going to see. Bam! He blasts Kurt Hawkins. And this might be 
the fastest match of Puma's career so far? No. He is able to kick out. Uh-oh. Puma setting Hawkins up. Puma agree. Quickly blasting Kurt as he gets up and then goes for the pin. And just like, wow, that was super fast. Puma taking care of business and ending it with a Puma Gree. Now last week we saw we saw uh, Bray Wyatt doing some uh, playing some mind games. Oh God, here it is. Do you hear that again? It's the sound of insects buzzing all around us. But unlike you, they serve a purpose. My fireflies light up the night so maggots can seek out and dine on rotten flesh and waste. But you? You're simply a parasite, feeding off of everyone you encounter and giving nothing in return. Your lineage itself was built on someone whose sole purpose was to leave death in their path. To exterminate. And I find that amusing. Because that is exactly what I'm going to do to you. You see, at TLC, oh. you can leave your precious title at home. I'm not concerned with that trivial ornament. What I am concerned with is your demise. Your extermination. Uh oh. Oh, okay, Boom's got the mic now. Here we go. I'm not gonna stand here and let you try to play mind games with me. But what I will do is accept your challenge for a match at TLC. Ooh, it's on. It is on at TLC. Holy till it. Oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. Yeah. Uh, hey, Matt. Sorry oh. to interrupt. Um. Whatever it is you're doing. What does it look like? I'm rosining my violin bow as one does. Uh, yeah, of as course. One does. Uh, okay. Listen, I've got a match coming up against Bray Wyatt, and I was just kind of hoping you might be able to give me some advice. Brother Buzz, are you woken? Um, I don't yeah. think so. Definitely not. If one is not woken, then there is no hope in combating a force such as the monster you speak of. And even I, who is supremely woken, have lost many battles to him in the Great War. This is super weird. Okay, so how do I become woken? That is like asking how your vessel breathes the air. It must materialize on its own. Or there is the technique of a jaunt to the multiverse, but all this rosining about and dispensing of wisdom has given me much weary. I must retreat to my quarters. Good evening, Compil. Compil. Okay, thanks. I guess. Yes. That was the weirdest thing ever. Ugh. Oh! Oh. Are we fighting Bray right now here in the backstage area? Apparently so. Get Bray Wyatt to your van in the parking lot. This is weird. Okay. Bray, you want to see my creepy white van? There's no candy or anything in there, but I think there might be some bug stuff that you might enjoy. Oh. Oh. This may not be as easy as it as it sounds. Uh, no. And uh, okay. I mean, if you're bumping into anything and everything, Bray, this is gonna take forever. Oh, shot to the face. Caught him. Cut. Nope. He he reversed that. And uh, kicking him. Kicking old buddy. Okay, this is not helpful. I'm just gonna, start, I'm just gonna start walking that way. Do 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 do. Where's Bray Wyatt? Nobody knows. 
Oh, that's weird. That is super weird. Okay, here he comes. Deep, 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 deep. Ah! Boy, if you don't. Okay. Uh oh. Got him. Oh. Oh, man, right on the steel grate. Right on the grate. Get out of here. You know how we do with chairs up in this piece. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Run. Get off me. Come on this way, Bray. Come on this way, my friend. I am all that buzzes. And I am here. Okay. Send you the wrong direction, apparently. I am here to buzz my way to the top. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this vein once I get to it. Get on top of it? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to do that. Let's carry him over to the van. Here we go. Now we're now we're cooking with gas here. Uh, or not? Okay. Boom! boom in the face! <laughs> oh! Oh my goodness! Boom! I just flipped right into the van. Um, Bray, what are you doing? Oh no. Um, you're not gonna light my dad's van on fire, are you? Oh no! Oh jeez, Sister Abigail! Oh my gosh! Oh my God! This man's a maniac. Puma's knocked out cold, and Bray Wyatt just set fire to the Bug Buster. There you see Buzz arriving for his match tonight at TLC versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah, you noticed he hadn't driven his van because Bray torched it. It was a gift from his father. And we are fired up because he's torched it, you piece of trash. Okay, well, we're going to cut it off here. It looks like we've got Bailey, Finn, and Kurt to talk to when we get back. But man, oh man, it looks like we're going to be at TLC in the next one taking on Bray Wyatt. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. I know you've been checking out those uh, uh, Universe Mode entrances and showcases. Follow uh, me on Twitter for that. SWF, uh, let me see, what is it? SW Federation underscore 2K on Twitter for that. So thanks again, guys. Please leave a like. Come on back. We've got SWF coming and apparently Bray Wyatt at TLC.